face on? Well, what the fuck? Maybe he needs a fucking beat. Maybe you really need to backhand that fucking kid in the face and let him know he's still your fucking child. And if you don't want to do it because you feel like it's going to make you feel bad, I'll do it. And I won't hit him hard. But he needs to be put in check. Something, something needs to happen. The talking isn't working. The asking nicely isn't working. The fact that his fucking grandma is connected to a fucking machine isn't working. Well, what the fuck? I didn't straighten out when shit got tough? Shit got tough. It's time to stop being a fucking asshole. I understand it's an inconvenience, you have to get up and go to the fucking store, but every time I walk downstairs to get myself a cup of soda, or to use the fucking phone, or to go outside and throw garbage, I gotta get another cup of soda, then I'm in there and gotta get you a cup of soda, but do I not get you soda? Do I just turn around and walk away even though you ask me? Do I want to get you soda? Fuck no, I don't want to get you fucking soda. I don't want to go upstairs and drink my fucking soda. But you do what you have to do, because you take care of the people you fucking care about. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm, I'm really, I'm at the boiling point with him. I'm not gonna see that. I'm not gonna talk to him anymore. Or I'm gonna be mean to him. And then he'll fucking be a pussy and cry for a couple of days and then be straight for a fucking week and then we'll go right back to this fucking bullshit. I wasn't this thick headed. I wasn't. That's bullshit. Me and Chris had two sit down talks and one blowout fist fight. And after the fist fight, everything was straight. I was a fucker until we, until we both realized that we were willing to kick each other's ass for it. And then there was a mutual respect. I did not say I wasn't a fucker, but did I ever do anything that he does? I moved out when I was 16, and lived at Rob's house, so that I wouldn't have to do the jobs you wanted me to do. But I, w I didn't create my own mess. I wasn't here, I was messing up somebody else's house. I didn't make you do my wash, I made Rob's mom do it, you know what I mean? I, didn't make, I wasn't making you my slave. And I was 15. It doesn't make me better, it makes me different. I'm fucking... Since I was 18, I'm fucking... I've been doing the right thing. The kid's fucking 18. He thinks in his head he's better than everybody else. He's going to fucking college. He's doing all the right fucking shit. Well, then do the fucking right shit at home. Are you, oh, all your fucking... None of that shit you're learning ain't gonna be dick. But you can't talk to the fucking idiot. And I'm sick of fucking talking to him and looking at me like he's gonna fucking kill himself if I'm done talking to him. Fucking face, man. Too fucking bad, tough enough. And this is bullshit. He wants everything. You speak. You got him that game fight thing, right? You got him that game fight thing so I could have a game he could have a game, right? That was the whole pretense of that. Me and, you, me and him share it. Like a nice, lovely thing. Every day he's changing his shit and keeping his game. And every day I'm getting to like. It took me two weeks to get my one game. He's already had three games. Do I go in there and choke him and knock him unconscious? Do I ask him why he's doing such a prick and moving his numbers ahead of mine and why are his game more important than mine? No, I don't say not a fucking word like that. Only thing I say is, where is my fucking game? Could you call me? But if that was me doing that to him, at least he would be down there every minute with his fucking eyes full of water or his fucking fist punch. I have been angry about this video game, dude. For once, at one time at all, did I say, I'm not seeing you. Yeah, but Christian, but honey, Christian didn't have a fucking job when I was a child. Do you clean up after your son? No, because the motherfucker doesn't live down there. He lives up here, in my fucking house, where I clean everything. Everything they said. I gotta clean the hallway. I gotta vacuum that. She hasn't stepped foot in that fucking room but to change her fucking bra and panties. But every day, when I got the vacuum over here, I got vacuum over there. Do I ever fucking bust anybody's balls? Are you gonna fucking vacuum this room? Are you ever gonna for you? And I didn't. I did, have I ever asked him to clean the fucking toilet one time? He pisses all over the floor. You live with the prick. You've cleaned the piss off that back wall. How many times? How many times you think I'm on my hands and knees picking up piss that isn't mine? Do you hear me flipping out about it? Every time I get angry, the only things I say after I'm angry is the prick needs to take the fucking dogs out at five a fucking clock. Not six, five o'clock. And take the garbage out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Tuesdays and Fridays. And cook when I don't feel good. But if I'm not going to eat, I can't cook. It makes me sick to cook when I don't feel good. And how many times a month does that happen? Once. What the fuck? What the fuck else do I have to do? Chris did you know this. Chris took care of us. Did a good job taking care of us. He never cooked no fucking dinner. 
He never cleaned no fucking toilet. He cleaned the kitty box. He never pulled no fucking mop out. In his older years, when Lauren was good, yeah, it was like that. That's because he was a 25-year-old guy. But when he was my age, he wasn't doing the shit that I'm like, hold on, what the fuck? I'm not asking him to get his fucking hands dirty. I got another one. Probably somebody you know. I'll call you back, please. What? What did you say? Yeah, for real. Mira, puta. Mira! Yeah. So, no, what? Uh, I'm going to take on this station. Where'd you go? Chillin' that? Fuck. You chillin' that?